Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. This is some gameplay from when I completed the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg for the first time. You can see the train lines above the map are still lit up and we've done the egg, it's all been finished, but a fair few people have been saying that that's not the actual end of the Easter Egg because the reward seemingly doesn't exist and what's actually going on is that there's another secret step or series of steps that have to be completed that are only available once this part of the egg has been finished. And to be honest, I'm pretty much on board with that. I think it makes sense that Treyarch would have spent their last three years of development time working on an easter egg that does give you some kind of reward, but it might be a little more secretive than we currently think it is. And so, in this video, I'm going to be bringing you some gameplay from Shadows of Evil after the egg has been complete, I run around the map a little bit, and the focus of the video, specifically the focus, is going to be the Golden Civil Protector. We call it in here. I should probably start this off by explaining what the Civil Protector does in case you guys haven't seen gameplay of it before. It's basically a bot like the Maxis drone from Origins, if you guys remember that, that roams around the map for a limited amount of time and helps you out. So. What the Civil Protector is going to do in this piece of gameplay is revive me a couple times because I was running around being reckless trying to record it and went down a fair few times. So it gets me back up again, which is awesome. And it's also going to be shooting the zombies. You can see that it's holding a pack a punched weapon and it pew pews those zombies into oblivion. It's really, really good. Also, if you call the Civil Protector in while you're doing the Easter egg during the step where you have to defend yourself from all those meatballs, the flag step. If you're struggling with that step, all the Civil Protector is going to do is add another gun to your arsenal and help you shoot stuff. So it's a win-win, really. You just have to be careful that when you go back to the actual round itself, when you're outside the flag step, it might kill the zombie that you have remaining and start the next round. So be very careful about that. I should probably take this opportunity as well to say, if you guys aren't already following me on Twitter, in the description there is a link. You really should be doing that, because yesterday I played through the entire Easter egg with a viewer, his name was Louie, it was a really fun game. You can actually see him in the gameplay for this video, he's in there battling those zombies with us, and I do invite people in from Twitter, and also talk to you guys all the time about crazy theories, and ideas, and the storyline, and just how your day's going as well, so you guys should really do that. And I also want to say, if you have any ideas that you'd like to share with me, that's the best place to do it. A lot of people have been sending me business emails saying, Milo, I found something, and that's great, but you should probably just tweet me instead. Okay, so back to the gameplay. Civil Protector, very awesome to have with you in the match itself. Also very useful if you're trying to do a particularly tough thing, whether it be a challenge or something like that, because of the fact that it will revive you on its own. And I also show you in the gameplay the fact that if you are in a district, a particular district, let's say the Footlight District, and you call in the Civil Protector, he will then follow you to other districts on the map. So you don't need to worry about it staying in one place. It will follow you around wherever you run. And so if you want to do a challenge in a specific area, you can bring him over just by running over to the area that you're doing the challenge in and he'll follow you ASAP. It's actually in this upcoming piece of gameplay where I showcase the fact that he does move between districts with you. My teammate is downed as you can see. No surprises there. Phil's fan's a bit of a noob. <laughs> Hi, Phil's. If you're watching this, then sorry. But my teammate is down and I'm about to go for the revive when I realize I've called the protector in and I might as well let the protector do it for me. The little animation that it does every time it revives someone is it jetpacks up a little bit into the air, then it sort of drifts over and sticks its arm out, sends a little bolt of electricity towards them, and up they get. Pretty damn good stuff. I'm then showcasing the fact that he's now got a pack-a-punched gun as well, and you can see that his visor is this red sort of glowing color, so I guess that signifies the fact that he has a pack-a-punched weapon, just in case you weren't sure. Other than that, though, I don't think that there's anything in particular that I need to showcase for you guys. However, if there's some other stuff that you'd like to see gameplay of on Shadows of Evil or on the Giant, then definitely let me know on Twitter, like I mentioned before. I'm perfectly happy to record gameplay for you guys on whatever topics or areas of the maps or whatever you might want. So just let me know and it'll happen. I'm going to pretty much wrap this up here, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. The Gold Silver Protector is a pretty cool little funky, I guess it's kind of an Easter egg, sort of, not really, maybe a little bit. It's sort of an Easter egg, and it's a nice thing from Treyarch anyhow. So I've been Mr. Off Waffles, like I've said. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then the like button needs to be clicked with your nose. Good luck with that. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tougher than you think, but give it a go, and I'll see you very soon in another Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Tally ho, guys. Bye-bye.